Let me tell you about my Amyet EV900S. I've got 49 miles on it. Bought it mid-September. Um, I've already broken it, so I figure good time to give you a review and my experience dealing with their customer service. Not only through Amazon, where I bought it, but also their other email, their text message service, their phone number. Uh, all those are a joke. Um, there's nobody technical you can talk to. There's barely anybody responsive. You get about one email a response overnight. It'll come through at 6 or 7 a.m. Uh, you reply, and then you, you get one a day. So you don't get anything accomplished. Uh, this EV900S, it's listed as a dual motor, 32 mile per hour, 1500 watt hydraulic brake. Um, clearly, this is a cable front brake. It is hydraulic rear brake. So it's not plural hydraulic brakes. It's just front. Um, it didn't come camo. I want to use it for hunting. So I put this basket on the back. Uh, broke this today. Had a little bit of weight in the basket. Right There's a rack here, so you expect to hold some weight. Well, that broke off. Um, it's listed as dual motor. Trying to figure out where the motor goes. The other motor, right? It's got one hub drive. This in here is just some loose box. I don't know what I don't know what that module does, but it's not in there very secure. Um, I got a lot of complaints with the controls, throttle response, uh, the response for torque input to the pedals. Um, I mean, just overall disappointed. Cool, really cool concept. Disappointing execution, disappointing uh, support. So I pulled this cover off to see what was in here. All right, some loose module just sitting in there. Uh, no seal on this cover. And there's a hole where the wires go through. No grommet, no seal, just a hole. So far from water resistant. Here's the charge port way down low. I don't know, I like stuff up and water resistant, personally. This is not a sealed connector of any sort. So, I can't imagine this thing's any sort of water resistant. Alright, back to this review. I uh, had to booger weld that uh, kickstand back on. I'm embarrassed to show you, but hope it holds. Um, shouldn't have failed in the first place, but all right, you give a rack. Apparently, you can't put any weight in the basket because that'll break off. Um, right, battery, speed, not really gear. Think of this one through five as a uh, top speed limiter, and then you could scroll through uh, trip, power. Time, odometer, trip. My complaint is trip resets every time it powers down. Okay, if I twist the throttle, let's speed this up a little bit. Right, it should start accumulating. I don't know. There's no, there's no pickups on the front tire. I don't know why trip didn't work. Uh, power goes between 51 point something and low 40s. I, I haven't run the battery dead dead to, figure, to see how low it actually goes. I cannot get them to explain to me what power actually means. Why would it be 50% power with 100% battery? Makes no sense. Uh, time, right, this, this probably resets for, with every time you restart it, yeah, time, so it's time it's been on. I, I'd love to use a trip, like a trip on a car, right, trip on, tripometer, where you stop, you shut it down, maybe overnight, but 
you you could figure out how long you actually get on a battery if the tripometer didn't reset every time. Um, pretty frustrating there. Hold these two buttons, and you get into another menu. I cannot get a English worthwhile description to actually explain what all these mean um, and what settings we have to us to modify. And so there's 20 of these. Uh, if you do look in the manual, you'll see some descriptions of them, but um, they're very poorly worded and not helpful. Uh, one thing, if you go to P05 and you flip it to 2, press and hold both, get back to main menu, now your speeds are, your speed limiters are 0 through 9 and 1, 1 doesn't do anything. So, if you just wanted to pedal... You have to do that. Now, two is like your old one. But none of the speeds, and here's, we'll get into my complaints. None of the speeds change the intensity. Every single time, it's all the same pedal input. There's no torque determining factor. Uh, there's no torque control setting. And so there's also a delay. There's about a half second delay from when you start to pedal, right? And now you're working at all. That's some shit this fucking got. There we go. Look at it. Like, it, it takes a while, so long for it to get going. You'll hear it start up. It's like a half second delay before it even before it even assists. And then my other complaint is when you're actually pedaling or using this, sometimes there's like a three or five second like hang, like the throttle sticks. And it's absolutely terrifying. Uh, Amyet support says that's normal. Uh, fortunately, when you do pull the brakes, right, because both of these have a brake light uh, connected to them, they know when you're pulling the brake in, right? If you see that on the display, you can see when the brake is being pulled. So fortunately, that cuts the motor out, but you got to be ready to pull the brake because you'll be driving whether you're pedaling or throttling and all of a sudden it'll just keep going and it's quite terrifying i've had two people ride it and ask me if it's broken because of how scary that is uh this both of these i need to glue these they don't use lock-ons or anything of quality so they both they both spin um that's disappointing uh, i don't know, just overall this thing is just just a piss poor quality example. Um, cool concept. I love the step through, the rack, the light. Cool concept. I just I, I have to return this thing because there's no way it'll last. And with the money I spent on it, it's it's gonna be money wasted when you can't get parts or support. Um, these seats bend they're very uncomfortable uh when you ride any sort of anything bumpy you'll you'll find that the seat just twists from side to side it's it's not the tube but I mean, these things just terrible terrible quality and the support the support is next level poor uh the amazon people you'll get about one response a day they don't comprehend the questions i've been asking about odometer excuse me i've been asking about trip issues and why it resets every time they keep talking about odometers i don't think they even know what a tripometer is or or how it's typically used in, in automotive uh so that's that's a disappointment 
the phone number for Amyet will get you to somebody named Coco. She's customer service, not technical support. She'll tell you she's going to get technical support to call you or email you. You'll you'll never hear back from them. Uh, I don't think there is any technical support there. Uh, these seals, the dust seals on the front forks, uh, they've been leaking since day one. They were real greasy at first, and then it just kind of turned into oil. Um, these leak. And they tried to tell me it was normal at first. And then after a few attempts back and forth, and they, they were leaking before I painted everything. I painted it because I wanted to use it for hunting. So I was trying to make it blend in a little bit. So I painted it. But uh, we're still... <laughs> The only time this thing's going to stop leaking is when it runs out of oil to leak. So, that's why it's all crusty with with dirt there. It's because it's been leaking oil. Um, Alright, nothing's, nothing's waterproof on it. There's just no way it'll last. I cannot recommend this. Like, it's... Cool concept. Um... How much do I spend for a good one and what brand will it be? That's what I want to know.